government says it will attempt to grow working capital needed for equity investments within the anticipated oil and gas industry, estimated in trillions of shillings, a measure aimed at supporting retention of petrodollars within the economy once commercial production commences. In view of the pending final investment decision that is expected this year, the company requires approximately a shilling 500 billion for equity participation and shillings 100 billion has been provided in this BPF for you know as we speak now. The pending final investment decision, a major approval stage for capital injection across planned activities within the oil production business, could be made by oil companies within this year even after a December deadline elapsed, perhaps due to electioneering period. Because to have somebody investing in the oil and gas sector, you know the, it's turbulent now. The demand has reduced, the energy, uh, green energy is coming on, uh, and so, but the companies, you can see their insistence. Uh, they are prepared to go ahead. The government of Uganda is more than prepared. These agreements are now nearing conclusion. And so that's why the confidence we have that we should be able to take this forward. This should be able to be taken forward. It remains to be seen how government's investment and regulatory vehicles for the oil and gas industry, the Uganda National Oil Company, UNOC, and the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, POW, will be sustainably realized. Funding for the Petroleum Authority of Uganda and the Uganda National Oil Company has increased by 170% from shillings 45.2 billion now to shillings 43.2 billion between financial year 1819 and 2021. We shall continue to provide additional resources to the two institutions to ensure that they have the required the requisite capacity to regulate the oil industry and for effective equity participation. Reina Ojon, NTV business.